we'll try to understand what is bearing angle in navigation this is the main thing always we talk about the angle of bearing that gives us the location of a boat or an airplane you know so bearing angle is actually measured from the north and it is clockwise measured from north clockwise direction now I'll show you a few examples so that you understand what is it in a coordinate system let's say like this if I draw an angle like this and let's say from here this is around 50 degrees then angle of bearing will actually be from north clockwise clockwise means in this direction and this is our north correct so from north it will be like this much angle so this is our angle of bearing so in this particular example what is the angle of bearing the angle of bearing here is 90 minus 50 so it is 40 degrees so we get 90 minus 50 which is equals to 40 degrees do you understand so the angle of bearing in this case is 40 degrees let's do some more if I have this coordinate system here and let's say from the origin I make an angle this much let's say that's from origin and let's say this angle is from here to here about uh, 25 degrees then what should be my angle of bearing or bearing angle bearing angle as you know is measured from north so from north we will go like this clockwise and that's my angle correct how much is this angle this angle is 90 plus 90 which is 180 and then 180 plus 90 is 270 minus 25 so my bearing angle is 270 minus 25 so that is how I am going to find the bearing angle okay now let's take some more examples to give you an idea and to really understand what the bearing angle is and this time let me take some direction in quadrant 2 okay now here let's say from here this angle is let's say 40 degrees in that case what is my angle of bearing my angle of bearing for this point let's say this is a point will be this much so it is 270 plus 90 minus 40 if this is 40 this is how much this is 50 right so the total angle will be 270 plus 50 so I get 270 degrees plus 50 as my angle of bearing correct you can do this math right now let's take some more examples let's say this time we have a boat which is kind of here right and so we have to find the bearing of this boat which is at this point and the location is given that from here the angle of depression is 30 degrees so what is the bearing angle so we'll say bearing angle is measured always from north and from north it will be this much so how much is that so if it is 30 from here so we have 90 minus 30 as 60 and this is like 180 plus 60 so we can write this as 180 degree plus 60 we could have written 270 minus 30 also both will give us same answer I hope by now you have understood what is the meaning of bearing angle now let me take another example for you so that you just get it okay now this time let me draw with a different ink and let me draw it in this I haven't drawn anything here so let me say here let's say we have another boat at this position and this position is let us say A and you know that it is from here let's say it is 70 degrees then what is the angle of bearing angle of bearing as you know is measured from north so from north we will measure the angle and the angle is like this is it okay so it is 90 plus 70 so we can write this is 90 
90 degree plus 70 degree. This is my answer. Correct? So that's how you got to find angle of bearing. Now here are some problems for you to do. And what you are supposed to do? Determine the bearing of the position A from O. And what is our O? O is the origin of our coordinate system. Okay, so I'll give you here examples. So I'm just making similar to what I did before. These are my coordinate systems, correct? So I'll give five for you just to test and practice. And that's my point O in the center, okay? Origin, correct? The coordinates of origin are always zero, zero. And my point A is here for this quadrant and I'll give you from here the direction it is 100 degrees. Now second point I'm drawing is let's say here and for this I'm giving you coordinate from here as let's say 80 degrees. You have to find the angle of bearing. Correct? Now here I'll give you kind of like this. And these are my point A. Okay, this is my point A. And this time from here the angle is 75 degrees. You have to find the angle of bearing. Okay, now let me draw one more for you. And this time I've already given you in these quadrants but not here. So let me give you one here. Okay. So that's my point A and the point A. This angle from here is, let us say, 30 degrees. In that case, you have to find the angle of bearing in all the cases. You know where is north? Always we will take north in this direction. Correct? So angle of bearing is the angle from north when you go in which direction? Clockwise. Clockwise. Do you see that? And, oh, I left this. Fine. Let me give you this in quadrant 1 itself. Here and let me say that my angle here is given as 47 degrees. Find angle of bearing for this. Correct? So try this and I hope you understand what angle of bearing is. We'll take two more examples uh, in which we'll talk about angle of bearing. Okay? Thank you.